Taking a trip to an amusement park can certainly be a lot of fun, but the cost can quickly add up. So in today's Trips That Make Sense, Mark Roper shows us how to navigate an amusement park without breaking the bank. He is live at Adventure Park USA in Frederick County. Mark, certainly no surprise to us that this is your assignment this morning since you love the roller coasters. You also love saving money, too. Yeah, good morning, Megan. I love saving money. Who doesn't? I love roller coasters a lot. Luckily, I got this assignment thanks to our executive producer. But the one thing that sets Adventure Park USA apart from a lot of the bigger parks that people like to go to is that if you're like me, you can come here and ride all of the rides. But if you don't like to ride rides, there are a lot of other things that you can do and you don't have to pay any money to get in. No amusement park is complete without a roller coaster, or two, or three. And it looks like this Maryland family is up for the challenge to ride the Wildcat. Well, some more than others. The best part was the drop. I'm not really a roller coaster guy, but I ride roller coasters sometimes, but I don't really like roller coasters because my stomach drops a lot. But was it fun? Yeah, I had fun. It was fun. I might, I might get on that one, but I'm not getting on that, whatever that is over there. But I'll go explore that maybe later. Besides all of the fun, fast, and furious rides, one of the park's biggest attractions for Dorian's mom, Kiana Elliott, is that it's very affordable for families. It's probably like top of my list. <laughs> it's always going to be priority for me regardless, you know. So saving money and having fun when I have children, it's, it's a huge thing. Adventure Park USA has a variety of rides from mild to wild. CEO and park president Eric Stottlemyre explains how much you spend depends upon your need for speed. We're a la carte, which is great. You can either do a wristband, which is like a big park, and you get to play all day, or you can buy a fun pass and just go and play as you want to. Which for thrill seekers like us, it means take a spin on the Wildcat. Are you ready? Are you scared? Uh, no. Not this, scared? No, this is just not my first time. <laughs> the family-owned park traces its roots back to 1979 when it started out as Frederick Putt-Putt Golf with two 18-hole miniature golf courses and a video arcade. Eventually, the park moved to Monrovia and grew into Adventure Park USA, where you'll still find an arcade, although a much larger one, at 22,500 square feet. We've added bowling. We've got an amazing multi-level laser tag facility with all new equipment. We've got our XD Theater, which is a motion theater. It's three-dimensional, and it is just an absolute riot to do. And skilled arcade players can rack up enough points to win a prize. Everything from high-end Apple products all the way down to the, the finger traps uh, and everything in between. Step right up. Because if Frederick County Public Schools are closed, Adventure Park USA is open. Not just for summer, but the park is open year-round, both inside and out. We have people that come out and play miniature golf in the middle, in the dead of winter. Um, so golf course is always open. What? Uh, and like I said, we got 22,500 square feet inside. So there's tons of things to do inside in the winter time to keep yourself busy and keep your kids active. And besides the fact that you don't have to pay to get into Adventure Park USA, another thing that really sets it apart from a lot of the bigger parks is that the lines are a lot shorter here. Reporting live in Monrovia, Mark Roper, WMAR2 News. All right, Mark, very good. And uh, I know you are a roller coaster aficionado, so in your travels there at Adventure Park USA, what would you say was your favorite ride? Well, I would say the big yellow coaster that you see behind me, that was my favorite one that we got to ride here. Although I will say it was the only coaster I got to ride. Unfortunately, we were still working, so I didn't get to spend <laughs> a lot of time having fun in the park. Otherwise, I would have been here all day riding roller coasters and we wouldn't have gotten any work done. But that was a lot of fun. And you saw that kid who I rode it with, they made it fun too. Oh, well, always the professional, Mark Roper. Thank you so much for that story. <laughs> And if you have a great place that we could feature on trips that make sense, please let us know. You can send us an email to storyideas at WMAR.com.